we're basically feeding and living ourselves to death. The lifestyle, the way that we live and the way that we eat is killing us. Welcome to the Food Matters Podcast, your home for health and wellness. My name is James Colhoun, filmmaker and founder of foodmatters.com, and I am your host on this journey to inner and outer transformation. Hi, it's James here from Food Matters, and welcome to this special walk and talk edition of the podcast. I'm outdoors, I'm barefoot, I'm walking and I find that this gives me more capability to express myself clearly and share ideas with you that can transform your life and health. Today we're going to be talking about how studying nutrition online changed my life and in doing so how it helped me to heal problems that I had with my own health, with my father's health and my family and how it's been able to help transform so many different aspects of my life that I would have never imagined possible over the past 15 to 20 years and how as a potential invitation this idea of studying and deepening deepening your knowledge can help you also step into your highest power and potential to help heal your life and others as well. So to paint a picture of where I am today I want to give you a little bit of details about the scenery. First of all I'm barefoot and I'm walking on grass, something that I love to do. We all know about earthing, well if we don't know about earthing yet you can google that. It's a profound way to connect with the earth, deionize your body or reionize your body in that manner and defrag your body from the electromagnetic static and build up that ha- accumulates through Wi-Fi and phones and electrical equipment etc. I am at a hotel in Cairo, Egypt, overlooking the Grand Pyramid of Giza. It's an exceptional scene and I'll try to stay focused on this conversation because it's beautiful. There's date palms, there's birds chirping and you maybe even hear the faint traffic in the background. So if people come by me speaking a foreign language, it's Arabic and if I need to stop and drink some water it's because I have some dust in my throat from visiting temples and pyramids just yesterday. So all that aside, welcome to this podcast, welcome to this special edition and let's talk about how studying nutrition changed my life and how it can potentially change yours as well. First of all, When I finished high school or secondary school or was moving into university, like most people I really felt like I I didn't have much clear direction about who I wanted to be and the direction that I did have was really influenced heavily by my parents, by society. I remember visiting a career advisor at school and them sitting me down and saying, well James what do you like and what do you want to do? And these are big questions and all I knew at the time was that I love the ocean, I love surfing, I love being outdoors and I love music. And I remember seeing the look on her face and it said, there is no way you're going to make a living doing those things. And so this is where the whole pressure of being in the world starts to direct us towards studying or you know, entering professions and careers that are really more based around fear of not being financially stable, fear of not, you know, having enough. And so we have so many of us, and I'm speaking for myself and many friends that I've spoken to, that have been pushed into first stage careers of our life, where we put, we, you know, we'll go to be a doctor or a lawyer or, you know, a, a nurse or a physician or something, whatever it might be. And these are really most of the time ideals you know impressed upon us by our parents by our lineage by society if you do this and you make money and you have a home and the beautiful car then you're successful and my father followed this path as well you know and and what this often results in after you study which I did I went and studied to become a ship's captain to drive ships and and ferries and tankers and and container ships at sea then I went into this career and after about you know five or ten years I realized that this was not really fully aligned with who I am and there was this undercurrent of not feeling fully satisfied you know and I feel that so many people entering sort of midlife I had this feeling earlier on but many people entering midlife or there there beyond also have these sort of feelings coming up in their body that they're not in a place of really deepest connection of service to others, service to themselves 
and really in a field that they're passionate about. And one thing changed this for me. In about 2002, 2003, I attended a seminar by Tony Robbins called Unleash the Power Within. And I first became aware of his work through a friend of mine uh, who I was working on ships with. And after attending this seminar on the third day, there was a gentleman who gave a specific day-long lecture, or probably it was a half day, if I don't recall exactly, about health and nutrition. And I'll never forget his name because it was a name that's unforgettable. His name was Joseph McLinden III. <laughs> and he spoke about all these radical ideas on nutrition that really had I'd never come across before. He was speaking about how, you know, meat and dairy can be dangerous to health. He was speaking about, you know, how it can be a good idea for periods of time to not eat anything with a face. He was talking about how dairy can cause mucus and pus accumulation in the body. He was talking about acid and alkaline balance. And it was like, hang on a second, pause, stop, wait, what's going on? Why was I not taught this at school? Why was I not taught this by my parents? And why have I not been taught this by the food industry that's supposedly educating me with this food pyramid? What's going on? That was the first big opening. <clears throat> after, this, after this opening, I started to make some adjustments to my diet. I had suffered from you know, acid reflux and a few, a few small issues with my health. I'd visited my, my family physician and he'd suggested me some uh, medication that suppresses the acid sec uh, secretion in my stomach so that I'd have less reflux and, and GERD. And I was taking these tablets and actually mid-voyage on a ship in the middle of the ocean, they ran out and I started to have the symptoms come back again. So it was not really a long-term solution. And during this talk, I had this, this idea is that, well, if I change my diet, maybe I wouldn't have these symptoms again. So the next time I went back on the ship to sea, I changed my diet, I ate more raw foods, more living foods, I started introducing barley grass powder, wheat grass powder to water, alkalizing my body in the morning, drinking more water, eating less heavy foods, cooked foods, dairy foods. One of the things that stood out for me from that first lecture was that if it's difficult to clean your plate or the dishes after a dinner, imagine how difficult it is for your body to digest and clean that material as well. And you think about the cheeses and the baked dishes and these heavy dishes, of course sometimes they're nice, but every day this can create an enormous amount of stress on the digestive system. And this idea of eating to cleanse, not to clog, was like implanted in my memory. And, and that philosophy <clears throat> resulted in me being able to not experience any acid reflux symptoms ever again in my life through making some small adjustments in my diet. And this was the first big aha moment. And I know that for many of you listening to this as part of the Food Matters community, you've had your aha moment. Maybe it was one of our films. Maybe it was one other film. Maybe it was a book. Maybe it was a conversation that you had with somebody. Maybe it was a podcast. But there's a moment when everything seems to click and connect and you start to be opened up to a new world and you start to get frustrated and upset that you were not told about this earlier because much of this information is absolutely life-saving, absolutely game-changing and absolutely cheap, safe and effective. So it's a little bit of this mixed feeling. It's, there's this excitement and then there's this upsetness because you're like, wait, I've been living with conditions, pains, hormone conditions, thyroid issues, weight issues, skin conditions, chronic health conditions for years and nobody told me about this. So I feel you and it's okay. And maybe you've worked through that moment already. Maybe you haven't, but it comes up. So then after this experience of this first awakening, you know, Laurentine and I were both there and, and we were still working overseas at the time. And it spurred in us this sort of natural inclination to want to study further, to go deeper, to really, you know, cement our knowledge in a, in a more meaningful way. And really sort of parallel to this story was a, 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 a degrading health condition in my, fa my father, and he was suffering from severe chronic fatigue syndrome, 
depression, anxiety. Many of you may have uh, heard the story before and I'll, I'll touch on it briefly here. But this was career ending for him. There was of course many psychological you know, experiences he was going through a stressful you know, accountant and, and corporate professional were doing corporate finance and tax and planning and he was running a firm, a team of people and doing property development and, 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 and this sort of stress combined with really not being given clear simple tools on how to manage emotions and stress which is common in the West to not have those tools meditation tapping stress reduction breath work cold exposure etc these are not very normal if you haven't studied and on top of that he was eating a diet that we all grew up thinking was a healthy diet white bread low sugar or sugar free products um, cereal and milk for breakfast you know meat just about every day um, you know these were this was this was the diet that we'd grown up on and that my parents thought was okay and honestly the government said it was fine there was a heart tick there was all these stars there was all these indications that everything was okay from that area but my father's health was was deteriorating badly and it, it became so, so bad that he was having anxiety and panic attacks and the depression was bad and he's, he's the doctor that put me on the family doctor that put me on the acid suppression uh, it's, it's not supplements he's never recommended me a supplement just for the for your information the medication he was putting my father on different types of medication to help deal with these conditions these sort of symptoms and making no recommendations or questions about his diet and his lifestyle. My father ended up on six different medications. He had to quit his uh, business and sell the business. He eventually moved overseas because the stress of everybody asking him every day about how he is, are you well, are you sick still, was just too overwhelming. And he went really into this five year period of being bedridden most days on these medications, suffering from these side effects and really withdrawing from the world and, and, and his health and continued to deteriorate further. He, he put on 50 pounds, about 25 kilograms of weight and he was a, not the father that I knew. And this was something that as Laurentine and I were studying, we started to think, hang on, maybe there was some information, some, some, some nuggets of wisdom buried in these nutritional texts that were not really available to the world that we could uncover and help to bring to him to help him heal. And so we were reading more and more books after our awakening, books like A Diet for a New America by John Robbins and uh, Optimum Nutrition Bible by Patrick Holford, some of Philip Day's work, David Wolf's work of course, Charlotte Gerson's work. And all of these books were suggesting that the body had an innate healing capacity and that it was simply our role <clears throat> as our own best doctors, which David Wolf talks about this concept, that we are our best doctors and our nutritionists. It's our role as guardians of our, of our bodies to really look after our health and to be able to monitor and adjust our own diet and our lifestyle choices to be able to make you know, improvements in our health and well-being. And it was a radical concept really, I mean, and, and I think it's become more mainstream now, but it still hasn't yet fully permeated consciousness enough that it, it can reach the masses. So we're still talking about, there's a small group of people here, you included, that are on top of this knowledge and we need to bring that to more people. Side journey here, you can maybe hear the sirens in the background. So this is Cairo. There's 22 odd million people that live in this city and 105 odd million people that live in the country. So back to the conversation, we're still here. And this, this is sort of the impetus of these events really started to create this desire to want to read and study more. And so we did that. Then we started to bring this information to my father. And we were living overseas at the time, so we were sending him books, research papers saying, Dad, don't worry, it's okay, we've got the answer. It's all about how you eat and you know, nutrition is gonna save your life and don't worry. And so eventually he started to read a little bit, but ultimately he didn't take us seriously. He was 
really trusting the medical profession. He believed that, you know, the medical profession was this, you know, this, this big sort of institution up on a hill that you walk up to and you plead to them and say, please help me, I'm sick, I need healing. And so he had abdicated the responsibility for healing his body to an, a, a, a third party. And really that wasn't working for him. And so we were suggesting something completely different and new. However, he was not able to receive it from us. He, he didn't believe that what we had could be of value to him. And so after repeated attempts, it was falling on deaf ears. And this really frustrated Laurentino and I. And ultimately it forced us to, in a way to study nutrition online and, and start to sort of formalize our knowledge in a new way, in a deeper way, so that we could become certified. And so that we had some authority to say, Dad, hey, listen, we've studied, we've achieved a level of certification, this is important, it's time you're on board. And so we enrolled in an online nutrition certification program through a college in the US, which is now closed. And <clears throat> they, gave us access to all these audios and material and it continued to blow our minds and, and we thought we had a reasonably good basis and knowledge of information but this course took us deeper and I think this is one of the things that has been true for me when it comes to nutrition is that there is this sort of point that we often get to where we think we know it all you know, and I've been through maybe five or six of these inflection points in my nutrition journey where I'm like, that's it, I've got it figured out, no need to go any further. And the challenge with that, in retrospect, is that I've been wrong on each of those five occasions. I haven't been completely right, and I've needed to study further, and in doing so, I've been able to unlock more knowledge and give myself a broader basis for being able to approach my own health challenges, challenges with family and friends, and also conveying that knowledge to people around the world. And so studying this course really opened our eyes further and gave us more insights about how to heal my father and how to adjust our own diets and how to day-to-day -day rituals and, and habits and, and, and ideas that we can incorporate into our into our day-to-day our -day life. And so we studied this program, achieved our certification, and this really cemented this frustration that none of this knowledge was available and that this was really almost hidden knowledge. And so <clears throat> we were sending more and more research to my father during this time we were studying, and again, it was falling on deaf ears. Another challenging situation. So we decided to take it one step further and interview the experts we'd been studying with a video camera with a view to creating an online learning experience where we could take this knowledge to even more people in a new format and that really these became the first interviews that, that became the Food Matters film and ultimately this journey that we've been on over the past 15 years. And so we started interviewing these experts from Philip Day, Kurt Sakamaka, Jerome Byrne, Patrick Holford, uh, many whom, you know, some didn't make it into the film, some did. Some are currently now teachers and experts inside the Food Matters Nutrition Certification Program. And so this started to build this basis of knowledge that became the films and also became this sort of storehouse of information that gave me a broader understanding about nutrition and health and really helped me to, to understand in a deeper way how I can help heal my father and others. And, and, and as we started to do these interviews, it started to land. We're like, this is it. Oh my God, this is so exciting. So we're traveling around the world. We're in Europe and then we're in the US and then Australia. And we eventually went to my father's home. He was living overseas at the time, on a small island in the Pacific called Fiji and we arrived in his door and we're like dad we're not leaving until you get well here's what you need to do now take us seriously we're certified we've got to interview these experts around the world and I think 
all of those things combined and I hope that if you're dealing with a family member that's unwell or you know if you have friends or you know partners or colleagues or siblings that it's not as difficult for you but you may come up other against other challenges so hopefully this is helpful so we did this and he was eventually able to listen and as he started listening to these interviews he had an awakening he had the awakening that we were having as well and it was so beautiful to experience and such an amazing moment in our lives and from that moment on he's like let's do it and so the next day we did a pantry audit and we contraband all the products that were not healthy and okayed all the other ones we redid what his breakfast lunch and dinner would look like we started sprouting doing smoothies and juices doing a detox and a cleanse we started introducing and this is something that many nutrition schools do not offer or speak about but we started introducing sort of these concepts of orthomolecular medicine orthomolecular nutrition which is high dose nutrient therapy high dose vitamin c high dose b vitamins high dose omega-3 high dose uh well then just typical normal amounts of 5-htp etc and this this was knowledge that is like i said is not part of many nutrition programs but it was something that we were studying it was so profound and all of this helped to create an incredible transformation in my father's health and within a three-month period he was off all six of his medications he'd lost 50 pounds he was out of bed he had his energy back and he was running again and it was it was something that you know it was a very special moment in our lives and i feel like we gave him a new opportunity we gave him a new a new opportunity to live a life that's healthy and that it's on his own terms and it's not bedridden it's not you know he was really able to create a whole new existence and this is a gift that you cannot quantify when it comes to money you know to add more years to your life to add healthy years to your life you know this is the immortal quest you know i'm in i'm in egypt right now and i'm inside these pyramids and i'm looking at the history of the, of the egyptians and look did they make the pyramids or not that's a whole other question and probably an hour long discussion as well but one thing is for certain the egyptians and the kings and queens and pharaohs of the time were absolutely enamored by and would dedicate so much time to uh you know living forever the idea of the afterlife immortality health abundance reincarnation they wanted to extend their life to live a better life and this has been the quest for thousands of years for humans and now here we are literally giving that gift to my father with some simple knowledge that was acquired through well simple in retrospect but without access to studying this and working with these world-class experts would have been not available to us and so this was this huge revelation and, and after experiencing you know my father's transformation it just spurred Laurentine and I on further to want to take this knowledge to the world and then what happened after that I feel you know many of you may know this story but food matters we you know invested all of our life savings into creating the film we borrowed fifty thousand dollars from my dad who I call now Bank of Roy <laughs> we released the film and step by step it started to gain traction and become an international success story it was translated into 13 languages it was being screened from Cambodia to the Canada the US and Paris we've done cinema tours in Japan in 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 France in the US it's it was one of the first health documentaries featured on Netflix at one point it had 635,000 ratings on the Netflix platform it was one of the most successful early documentaries we then went on to create a second film hungry for change which was more focused on the beauty industry and the diet industry how there's so much trickery when it comes to you know inspiring people to lose weight and transform their health and beauty and there's an industry out there that would rather profit from you instead of giving you real information about to heal about how to heal naturally and how to lose weight naturally because this was something that so many of my father's family members would comment on they're like hey they wouldn't say wow congratulations on getting off your medications they would say how did you lose all that weight and why do you look so healthy and young and radiant and so that inspired the hunger for change film and 
As this was happening, we were starting to really see that we were building a legitimate business and a career. <clears throat> we were no longer able to work because we were so busy in our previous careers and, and this was starting to provide some return for us and we could see that this was a, a new path in our lives and there are so many different paths that studying nutrition can take you from becoming an author <coughs> excuse me to um, creating films like we have and doing media to being an online sort of educator to creating a podcast to you know helping promote other courses and programs through your community which you know you can earn commission on to working one-on-one -on -one with people as a nutrition coach or if you're a professional in the health space as a nurse or a doctor or a naturopath adding on this education this nutrition training to be able to you know gain more knowledge just in a, in the way that I've been learning more and more over the past 15 years and, and, and it, it's always adding to and evolving my understanding of nutrition this is uh, there's so many ways that this can manifest in your life and help to create new pathways and opportunities and it was something that I didn't start with that intention it was more just about I wanted to study to help heal myself to help heal my family and look maybe share this with other people and it ultimately snowballed into something completely different and I see that happening for so many people and I really wish hope and desire that at Food Matters now as this sort of next step of the, the, the journey of, of taking this knowledge to more people and creating a nutrition certification program being accredited by multiple international bodies and creating a, a, a ripple effect of nutrition coaches around the world to take this knowledge to more people I really hope that that this can facilitate transformation in your life and your friends life and your family's life sisters aunties uncles brothers and in doing so create a ripple effect of healing that moves us further away from being reliant addicted to and hooked on big agricultural industries the big food companies the pharmaceutical companies these are companies and industries that have been built around our ignorance because we've lost the knowledge of how to heal and nourish ourselves naturally and I really think that that's an egregious idea it's not their fault they're simply providing a, a quick fix solution to a lazy to, to, to I would say not maybe a lazy slightly complacent but definitely we've had education withheld from us as a as a society you know this knowledge about how to eat to heal our bodies has been withheld from us it's been suppressed in a way and in fact that knowledge has been taken over by the meat and dairy boards and other corporate interests that have been putting educational resources into our schools into our you know advertising campaigns to sway our decision making process towards ultimately unhealthier products which results in an unhealthier nation and we can see that now cancer heart disease diabetes depression anxiety you know diabetes you know there's so many illnesses and now the autoimmune condition um, explosion which is you know really affecting so many people gut health issues skin conditions prolific in our society and it's something that a, a simple idea can solve studying how to nourish the body how to look after the body can really help to create a solution so hunger for change came out and we were starting to sort of legitimize the fact that we were building a business around this and it didn't make us feel uncomfortable because everything that we were earning from it we were investing back into creating more films more products and of course we were paying ourselves a salary so that we could afford to live and and rent a home and and then we were employing staff you know first one and then two and then three and by the time hungry for change came out i think we had about eight staff and this time we started to really you know up our game when it came to online marketing and being able to reach more people because we thought well if all of these big companies the pharmaceutical companies the 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 food companies the agrochemical companies are all using marketing tactics to reach more people why can't we use similar tactics but more grassroots more organic more natural and in doing so reach more people and so when hungry for change was coming out Laurentine had been at a silent retreat I was with uh, marketing manager Michael in the US 
with Jeff Walker, one of the premier online marketing experts. Laurentine's like, we've got, I've got this idea, you know, we need to give Hungry for Change away for free. And we were like, okay, but we've just spent, you know, quite a few hundred thousand US dollars making this film and traveling around the world, interviewing these experts, doing the post-production, creating the trailer with editors and production team and audio and graphics and grading and actors and shooting sequences and in, in the middle of Sydney CBD and going there in the middle of the night when the offices are closed. And now you want to give it away for free. Hang on a second, this is crazy. And this idea was really <clears throat> so brilliant. So thank you to Laurentine. And it really helped us to create a new way of marketing. And Jeff Walker, who was the premier sort of online launch specialist in the US at the time, I was in an elevator with him and Michael in San Diego during one of his private mastermind events. And I mentioned this idea to him and he said, I'll never forget these words, good luck, report back how it goes. Because we were changing one of his strategies really to a new way. And ultimately we did give away Hungry for Change for free. We did enlist all of the experts in the film to help promote it. And we successfully had, you know, hundreds of thousands of people sign up to attend that free screening. And then we simply said, hey, did you love it? If you wanted to buy a DVD or a recipe book, please be our guest. And that was hyper successful. We returned the film multiple times over and we expanded upon the Food Matters community in a deeper way. And it was a win-a-thon. This is a term that I've created which really describes how I look when it comes to business now is how can I create a win at every level? So the people that attended and just watched the film for free had a win. The people that watched and attended and purchased the product got great quality information at a very affordable price and that was a win for them. And ultimately these win-a-thon ideas and the experts that are in the film were able to reach more audience because they were being cross-promoted by the other experts in the film and then ultimately this knowledge as a whole was able to expand further and so that was a win for that information also. And so this idea as a winathon really became this guiding principle in business for me and from then on the, the journey continues. You know, if FMTV became this idea that we could create this TV channel where so many of the films and the content that was being produced that was not being seen by audiences could be seen in a platform that was featuring hand curated content to help people take that next step and uh, you know receive the information and inspiration to take that next step on their healing journey. So FMTV became this Netflix for health and wellness and for a small monthly fee <clears throat> people could come and practice yoga, experience recipe content, you know, watch inspirational documentaries and continue that journey. And we launched FMTV, ultimately that, you know, resulted in, you know, having 1600 titles, over 800 hours of programming. We had tens of thousands of subscribers from all over the world. And we started to achieve more, at, at, you know, attention and focus in the industry. Big companies were watching us. <clears throat> we were taking more of our films off Netflix and putting them on our platform. Companies like Gaia started watching us and other health companies. And this was really us entering another space. Our team started to grow. You know, we ended up with, you know, about 12 team in the Philippines, you know, 15 to 20 team at our headquarters in Australia and some other team around the world. And this was really the beginnings of <clears throat> things starting to get a little serious, right? And also we'd, we'd done a book deal with HarperCollins at that time and, and published a book to go with Hungry for Change and then the DVDs and the books were in Whole Foods and all these places in the US. It was really beyond our wildest imagination that this was happening. I mean, it's really just one foot in front of the other. Study nutrition, help myself, help my dad, follow that next step of wanting to get it to more people, interview the people that we loved, you know, meditate on what, how is the best way we can take this knowledge to more people, ask these questions, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and keep learning. Every interview that I do with the experts that I do for the films has resulted in that. So FMTV was out, we're reaching more and more people, we're growing, we're becoming more successful as a business. 
the idea that nutrition and goji berries and gluten-free and dairy milk alternatives were non-existent almost in 2008 when Food Matters came out. We were now in 2014, 15, 16, 17 and it was becoming mainstream. <clears throat> and of course we didn't do it, but of, of course I think we played a part. There was a group of people and films and experts that were sort of bringing more and more of this knowledge to the world. And, and it was an amazing time and experience. Then we were ready to make another film and ultimately went to create a two-part series, Transcendent Season 1 and Transcendent Season 2. Uh, these were two five-part documentary series that launched exclusively on FMTV. We offered them for free for a period of time to make sure that we were catering to this idea of providing life-saving knowledge and information to people at zero cost and then invited people into the journey of being an FMTV subscriber and that only added to their capability to access more information and transform their health. And then, naturally, we kept asking the question, okay, well, we've reached this amount of subscribers, how can we go to 10 times that size? And, you know, advertising costs were becoming more expensive online with Facebook, and, you know, it was becoming <clears throat> more of a zero-sum game as to how we can grow, and we're like, how do we make this work? And then, ultimately, I'd been having some discussions with Gaia, and some few other companies around the world and then I looked at Gaia and they were 10 times our size and we're like oh my god this is perfect maybe if we bring the two companies together this could result in even more people getting access to this information and Gaia had very little nutrition and health information we were the authority on streaming when it came to nutrition and health information and ultimately we decided to bring FMTV onto Gaia leverage their you know 150 plus team developers, technology, expertise, brand, to take FMTV and that knowledge to even more people. And in one day, essentially, when we, we did the deal, we went to 10 times more people than we'd been reaching on FMTV. And that continues to grow today, and I'm, and I'm involved with Gaia at this moment as, as a board member. We were able to, to, to help still steer and guide Gaia and help them, you know, reach more people in nutrition and health space, and it's an exciting time. And now I'm in Cairo and I'm speaking to you on my phone with a microphone barefoot on the ground and we're reflecting on this idea about how studying nutrition can change your life and how studying nutrition changed my life. And really we are suffering from one of the, the rarest, craziest, self-inflicted epidemics we've ever experienced as a race of, or as a species on planet Earth ever and it's the the epidemic of chronic illness that's self-inflicted. We're basically feeding and, and, and living ourselves to death. The lifestyle, the way that we live and the way that we eat is killing us. Like I mentioned before, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, depression, obesity, one of the leading causes of death. Then the poor lifestyle and, 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 and stressful sort of ways that we live contribute to this whole cycle and we're lacking education, support, knowledge to be able to solve these problems and so we're overwhelming our healthcare systems and then you add on top of that the threat of viruses or the ever-evolving flu or COVID or coronaviruses that really can impact people that have suppressed immunity and poor health. We are really so far off track when it comes to being healthy, vibrant, strong, human beings and we need now more than ever an army of food matters health coaches an army of nutrition coaches an army of people that study and take their knowledge deeper and in a way like Laurentine and I decide to go and formalize that knowledge start with healing those people around you and start with healing yourself and then taking it step by step to more people because we need a revolution because right now this illness that we're suffering from is like people that are jumping into a river and the healthcare system is like lifeguards sitting downstream trying to pull everybody out of the river that's drowning. But as a nutrition coach, you know, and, and for Laurentine and I when we studied nutrition, our, our idea and, and really the invitation to you is to go and, and, and deepen your knowledge, achieve some level of certification or add to your knowledge and certification and go upstream to that bridge and say, hey, hang on a second, don't jump in the water, 
it's a pathway that just leads you straight downstream into the healthcare system, which has really been called by so many experts the disease care system, where you become a patient of the pharmaceutical industry, the healthcare industry, and you become more hooked and addicted and less independent. And ultimately, the invitation to stop people jumping in the river requires knowledge and it requires, like I said, an army of nutrition coaches, an army of people that study nutrition and are passionate about taking this knowledge to more people. And really, the ultimate next step, which is a really full circle step for Food Matters that has happened in the last two years, has been our, our refocus and our, you know, our centering back to nutrition education. And we'd realized in retrospect when I sat down with the executive team and, and Laurentine and, 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 and even speaking to these ideas to the Greater Food Matters team, that we had a treasure trove of information, resources, interviews with the world's best experts, knowledge that we'd accumulated over a 15 to 20 year period of not only myself and Laurentine, but the team of nutritionists and experts and naturopaths that have worked with Food Matters over the years that have been adding and adding and adding to all this research and knowledge. And then we started to realize that we had a nutrition certification program, the, the body of which we had surpassed any of the knowledge that we'd achieved through previous courses or programs that we'd, we'd studied. It surpassed many of the, the programs that, that our staff and team have also studied, that have studied nutrition and dietetics at universities and have studied with other online you know, health coach programs. And we started to realize that the information we had was so unique, so groundbreaking, so robust, so incredible, that we thought we had to bring this to the world as a Food Matters Nutrition Certification Program. And so we formalized these experts, we formalized this program, we built out an online study program. We achieved international accreditation by two bodies for certification as a nutrition coach. And we are now finally offering this to the community, to you, to the world, as an invitation for you to take that step to studying to deepen your knowledge, to take that next step on your healing journey, to take that next step to healing a loved one, and to really open up to the idea that maybe, hey, maybe there is a career change in your life. Maybe, you know, you've reached a point where you wanna do something different. Maybe it's just about a personal step right now and you don't know where it's gonna lead, but that it's exciting and that you get to learn more about how to look after your body. At the bare minimum, it's an operation manual for how to be a better human. We really didn't get this knowledge. We didn't get any knowledge really about how to feed ourselves, nourish ourselves, how to prepare beautiful meals, what supports gut health, what takes away from gut health, how to balance our hormones naturally, how to detox and cleanse our body from all the accumulating toxins that we've now added to our modern world, how to have new ways of looking at chronic degenerative disease, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, etc., skin conditions, hormonal conditions, autoimmune conditions, how to have new ways of looking at these conditions that really address that the philosophy of nutrition and natural healing, which is, you know, first remove the toxins, then add in the nutrients, then look at the psychosomatic mind-body connection, this total mind-body approach to healing, to have these tools, to have this information is critical, I believe. And I really have no attachment to whether you choose to study with us as, as Food Matters since we've released this new certification program to the world, or you choose another organization, or you say, well, I'm just gonna read more books. Do it all, I say. Investing in education has been the best investment I've ever made in my life. And you know, Nelson Mandela talks about education from another perspective as one of the most powerful weapons we can use in the world. And it can be used for good and it can be used for bad. And right now, we're allowing ourselves to be primarily educated by corporations that have an interest in us buying their products. And of course, many of you listening to this have started the journey of reading and studying and being independent and maybe watching our films and other people's films, and that's amazing. And I was doing the same as well. But then as soon as I started studying nutrition and formalizing my knowledge, 
I realized that there was so much more that I was, I was able to learn and so much more that I was able to, to give in terms of service to people and to the world. And not a day goes by where I'm not in some way really living a, a dream where I'm, 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 I'm using the knowledge that I've studied to help people. You know, random people that I'm, I meet in an airport or, you know, that I have friends with that open up to me. Oh, hey, you're, that's, you're that Food Matters guy, right? Hey, I've just got this, you know, what should I do with this? Or my uncle's got this or my auntie's got this. And it's such a joy and a privilege and an honor to be able to share information. And really, as a nutrition coach, one of the key distinctions that I'm working to create here and that we as a, as a group at Food Matters is working to create is this idea that we're not here to diagnose and treat. You know, the medical profession can do that. They have the best diagnostic tools in the world. And sure, if you need surgery or other, other you know, specialist you know, procedures, then the medical profession are your best bet for that. Of course, if you need emergency critical care, the medical profession is by far the best for that. However, what we need a revolution in is a revolution in education. Not just you and I continuing to study education and go deeper in our knowledge. However, you and I helping educate others. So as a nutrition coach, as a Food Matters nutrition coach or studying nutrition with us and becoming certified, it's really an invitation to help take that education to other people. So accumulating education on all the modules that we offer. And there's also modules in the, in the program on, on, on online business as well. Everything I've been learning about how to take knowledge about nutrition to the world online because it's one of the most, it's one of the primary platforms now that can help take this knowledge to more people. I wanted to share with you this knowledge that I had accumulated through all the masterminds and the groups and the experts that I've, I've been with over the years. Additionally, all the modules on health, of course, from gut healing to immunity to chronic conditions, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, etc., to just the, the general biochemistry of how the body works, nutrients and assimilation, um, the hormonal system, gut autoimmune connections, skin conditions. <clears throat> so all of these modules, you know, to, to, to create a broad basis of knowledge in your life that you can then be able to help direct people and pull out almost this file in your brain. Hey, this is the best information that can be most helpful to you right now. And so being that person is incredibly valuable in the world right now. We have a trillion dollar problem in the world right now. And the trillion dollar problem is that we're sick. We're not optimally healthy because we've just advanced our lifestyle so quickly and we've, we've become so addicted to so many conveniences that we've created a huge problem. We're suffering, we're sick, we're unwell. And that problem, the way that we're trying to solve that problem right now is not working. We're trying to solve it with more additives, more fake sugars, more fake food products. We're trying to solve it with more addiction to just entertainment and escaping. We're trying to solve it with, you know, ad addiction to medication. And this is not solving anything. It's just lining the pockets of corporations that are greedy and seeking to profit from your lack of well-being. And the ultimate way that we're going to solve this trillion dollar pro pro problem is to re-educate the world. And there's a thousand different ways that you can do that as a nutrition coach. So many different ways from writing books to starting a blog. We also have a blog uh, masterclass program inside the nutrition certification program with Liz Ryder. She studied nutrition, built a blog and created a successful, you know, just a tiny team with a big impact. She was uh, producing recipes for FMTV as well. An amazing woman. You know, Krista Recchio studied nutrition. She was able to go and build these incredible programs online. There's so many different ways you can, you know, take this knowledge and help people. You can do it one-on-one, -on -one, consulting with people, coaching people. You know, you can go into gyms and help you know, provide nutrition information to people, partner with other organizations, wellness organizations, you know, this, create a podcast, um, you know, the recipe blog even, just help people do the actual action of getting into the kitchen and making healthy foods. So many amazing celebrity chefs have been able to, you know, 
many of them not healthy, but many of them very healthy. You know, Jamie Oliver, sure he makes some unhealthy dishes, but ultimately the core of what he's teaching is make your own food, ensure that it's high welfare, healthy, organic, natural products, get back in the kitchen and have fun, you know? And this is really something that's critical to human survival, how we eat, how we sleep, how we interact with others. And so to study this, is such an important topic and I really invite you to come and join us at the Food Matters Nutrition Certification Program to come and study with us. There's private groups. We're there with you every step of the way. We have an incredible alumni, incredible group of students, the first few students that have been through with us. They have amazing testimonials and experience. The students from all over the world. And I can't wait to see what's going to unfold for you. You know, I'm sitting here now shocked at what's really unfolded for me over the past 15 years and the, the the deepening of relationship with my father having my father's health back and being able to navigate challenges that have come up for him over the years of course he got well and then there's been other things come and you know new challenges and then other family members but to have this knowledge means that I'm there ready to support ready to be able to provide you know the right guidance, that next best step. You can lose years and tens of thousands of dollars going down the wrong path when it comes to your health. And I see it happen so many times with people. And then people become destitute, upset, annoyed, frustrated, and then also they lose money. Tens of thousands of dollars, specialist medications, special treatments, ultimately to hit a dead end. And really to be able to to study nutrition and, and access some of the brightest minds in the world and minds that think across different areas. So not just studying, you know, raw food vegans, but also saying, okay, well, what is, does ancient nutrition tell us? How do these bridge together? What are the ways that we can agree upon this? How can we create more cohesion amongst all of these areas of study and then bring that together in a holistic way and understand that, okay, maybe there's times when you need more cleansing and this and that. Maybe there's times when you need to rebuild more and be able to support your hormonal health. Maybe there's, it's a different approach if you're losing your hair and you've got hormonal issues than it is if you've got weight issues. You know, there's so many things to think about and I think the philosophy behind the nutrition program that we offer is really about bridging the gap between all these different philosophies and helping people realize that there is so many similarities. And to be able to have this knowledge and share it with people is absolutely life-saving. And to be able to direct yourself, family members, loved ones, or even people that you're helping in a professional capacity, and, you know, consulting, to be able to help direct them in a clear, simple, concise manner towards one of the best, cheapest, safest, most effective outcomes for them is invaluable. Not only can we help people save money, we can help people heal faster and more effectively. And ultimately, I feel like this is my mission. This is my purpose. And it's a purpose and mission that evolved from me taking that first step to study nutrition. So I invite you to come and join us for the Food Matters Nutrition Certification Program. Or I invite you to go and study nutrition wherever you like. It doesn't matter. However, study nutrition. Take your knowledge deeper. Go beyond just books and films and articles and thinking that you've, you know, you've got a good grounding on nutrition. I thought that too. And I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying that maybe formalizing your knowledge is the next best step for you. And so choose to study with us, choose to study with somebody else, just choose to study. It's an incredible experience. It can be done online now. It can take two to three months of your time and, and you, know, a, you know, a few hours here and there and some workbooks and some highlighting and some study and some revisions. We have online quizzes, multiple choice programs to help you test your knowledge before going to the next module. And we can help you through those as well. You can take them again and again. We want you to pass. We want you to get through this program. We have an incredible support team online every day to help answer your questions in the private groups, to help support you. This is one of the things at Food Matters that we really believe in more than any other company that I've interacted with from a study perspective. And that is once you choose to sign up for something, that's when the journey begins. And a lot of companies will just leave you after that, but we're there to support you through the study process. We have an incredible team headed up by amazing people at our office in Australia and situated in Australia and around the world to support your journey. We care for you, we're there for you. We do live Q and A's. We are here to help you find 
the smoothest, most effortless path to healing your own life and then helping support you to take that knowledge to more people with some of the bonus modules that we have around online internet marketing through the Food Matters way, all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years, plus with Liz Ryder, how to start a blog online, simple strategies for just getting started, getting online and starting this process of sharing this knowledge with more people. That's it. That's how nutrition and studying nutrition online completely changed my life. I'm so grateful for where I sit right now. I'm so grateful for you, our Food Matters community, and for you taking the time to listen, and for you taking the time to listen to me and this message today. And I hope you like this new walk and talk format and that you weren't too distracted by the noises or the background. And it's been an honor and a privilege to help serve you in a small way today. And I cannot wait to see how your life unfolds through studying nutrition. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you've studied already. Tell me if you're going to sign up to a new program again or join us for the Food Matters Nutrition Certification Program or take your knowledge to the next level. I love hearing from you. Have a beautiful day. In fact, have the best day of your life. It's an incredible gift that we've been given this journey and pain and suffering and illness in our own lives and others is really a call to action. It's a call to arms. It's a call to educate ourselves deeper to help us heal ourselves naturally and take this life-saving knowledge to more people. Have a beautiful day, evening, night, whatever it might be for you. Until next time, ciao for now.